next video, we will be doing a comparison of some of the most popular depth mapping technologies available in the market, such as stereo vision, structured light, and time of flight. We will do this comparison along seven parameters which include working principle, software complexity, cost, accuracy, range, low light performance, and finally compactness. Let us start with the working principle. StereoVision works by comparing disparities in images from two 2D sensors, whereas a time-of-flight camera measures depth based on the time taken by the light from the source to travel to the target object. In structured light, depth is calculated by analyzing distortions of illuminated patterns on the 3D surface. Coming to software complexity. Stereo cameras involve complex disparity computations to calculate depth, which adds to the CPU load on the host side. Structured light also involves computation of depth on the host side using the distortions obtained from the projected patterns. Depending on the accuracy required, the complexity may vary, and in time-of-flight cameras, this is the lowest as the depth map is directly obtained from the camera. When it comes to cost, stereo cameras tend to be cheaper as they're built using CMOS sensors. Among the three, structured light is the most expensive. This is because, if your aim is to achieve high levels of accuracy in a structured light system, the cost of the camera, the pattern projector, and the host device also tends to be higher. In general, time-of-flight cameras are cheaper than structured light systems, making them a viable option for a lot of depth-based embedded vision applications. Let us now look at how these technologies differ with respect to accuracy. Structured light tends to be more accurate than time-of-flight, while stereo cameras pose more accuracy-related challenges. At the same time, time-of-flight cameras come with medium accuracy. Stereo cameras offer depth measurement with a maximum accuracy in the range of centimeters, whereas the accuracy of time-of-flight cameras is in the range of millimeters. Structured light offers even better accuracy with a variance as low as a few micrometers at its best. Even when it comes to range, structured light imagers and time-of-flight cameras are far better compared to stereo cameras. The next parameter is low light performance. Here as well, structured light and time-of-flight technologies beat stereo cameras. Since time-of-flight cameras use VC cell as the light source, they do not require any ambient light for optimal performance. Let us now discuss the final parameter, which is compactness. Time-of-flight cameras offer an impressive form factor with their compactness. This is because of the fact that the sensor and illumination can be placed together, unlike in a stereo camera where the baseline cannot be reduced beyond a point. Structured light would fall in between time of flight and stereo technologies in terms of compactness. That wraps up the comparison. Hope you were able to develop a clear understanding of the differences between the three depth mapping technologies. If you have any queries on the topic, please leave a comment or write to us at camerasolutions at econsystems.com.